honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Leo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Leo. <clears throat> Excuse me. As well, I would like to ask uh, if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Leo, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot channel a lot and I am super appreciative of it. And you guys take this uh, extra time to do that for me. Um, and then before we get into your weekly reading, finally, um, I want to mention one, I did your bonus reading, which you can check out somewhere along here. Um, but as well, be sure to use your intuition when it comes to my weekly readings because just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe tarot cards are here just to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider, but never making the decision in your life because it is your life to live, Leo, not mine, and not these tarot cards. So now let's get into your weekly reading, honey. I pulled some cards for you already, Leo, just so I could get an idea of where it is that you guys are currently at right now. You guys start out with the Page of Earth or the Page of Pentacles in normal tarot. You have the Chariot card, Archangel Metatron, number seven. So write down the number seven for uh, numerology, Leo, to look up later. Uh, you have Seven of Water as well, or the Seven of Cups. And then you guys have, oh, you have Archangel Michael again. Uh, number 10 equaling to 1. So look up number 1. The number is 1 and 7 for numerology, uh, Leo. And also, I want to point out, I was going to wait until I got to the card, Chariot card, but I didn't know we pulled Michael twice for you in this deck. Um, and he's not in all a bunch of cards. I think these are the only two cards that he's shows up um leo if you depending on your belief system right it's not my business what it is that you believe in practice but if you are open to it archangel michael is definitely coming in really strongly uh for you guys this week and i feel like his energy is probably it makes the most sense i would say leo for michael of all the archangels to be stepping up and trying to uh connect with you and work with you in some way that is if you believe in it right but give me a moment uh leo as i figure out how these cards are trying to go because i feel like i'm gonna put this here now it's down to these two where these two are trying to i feel like yeah okay don't mind me leo so we're gonna start with your seven of water this card says a complex decision, the need to do more research and to stop procrastinating. So yeah, when it comes to the Seven of Cups, this is a card of where you're presented with different opportunities, different, you know, paths that you could take to get to the place that you want to be, right? You have choices, right? But the thing is about the Seven of Water, I guess I'll say not the Seven of Cups, is that you could, this could be a situation where you start freezing or you don't make a choice at all because you start stressing out about each of the cups, which one is like, you know, overthinking things and being like, oh, which one would work out the best, right? And here's something I, I just do feel inclined to say, uh, Leo, is that if you're trying to base your decision on something based off of like what you think would work out rather than basing your decision off of uh what it is that you want to do you know i keep just i don't know i get this sense of like where you guys need to identify and i know it's such a like dramatic word leo but identify like your calling because um i feel like some of you leos are trying to base your decision off of or only considering your decision only based off of like the result that you think you would get right so you would just be like you know so let's just say that you have a passion for running a bakery i always like to use the examples of a bakery or an author but um 
the other, this other side of you is just like, well, I could work this factory job that would prom be more promising in terms of money for sure, um, right? Because you don't consider like the positive in like what would happen if you were to actually entertain being an author and actually making 10 times what you would make it from a factory worker. You consider like the worst case scenario um, even, or just a scenario or a narrative that just doesn't put you in in like the situation giving the situation a chance right and so that's just something i wanted to say for that card leo i pulled some extra cards just to get a little bit more detail on this situation and so we have the three of cups with the knight of wands and the three of wands so in this situation here leo you <sighs> It's almost just, for some of you Leos, this is going to definitely be a side message for some, but I don't know if you, some of you guys, Leo, are looking for like a sign from like a person to, it's almost like you, some of you Leos are trying to look for a red flag in somebody or something, and you're just waiting for them to exude some type of red flag, right? With this Three of Cups here and the Three of Wands here. I get the sense that you're waiting for a sign on something. And I guess, here's the thing, I guess that's like a narrative that's just very much so like negative, right? You're looking for the bad in something, but you're looking for a sign right now in this current point. And I feel like that's probably what has you partially at this place of being frozen because you're waiting for a three of wands moment um, to be like, oh, okay, this is where I need to go. And once you identify it, that's when you go forward. But, I don't know, I'll still just get out the, this other side message where it's like, for some of you Leos, it feels like you're waiting to find like a red flag with this situation rather than just going with your gut instinct, right? There's something, there's something that has you on alert. And I feel like there's a reason why this something's on alert, why you are, are on alert in the first place, Leo. And so, but it's one of those things where it's like, for whatever reason, you're still like feeding energy into this until like, but you're still like having like, it's like you have a sword behind you, like you, or a knife behind you or in your pocket because you're not quite trusting in the situation because you're just like, I feel like this could betray me. I feel like it's something that you're repeating. It's just like, I feel like this is not what it says it is. And so for those that identify that, Leo, um, cut it out. Or not cut it out in the sense of like that anxiety or like that stressing about it, but like cut that situation out. Just stop waiting for like a sign uh, or like for them to prove it. Because one red flag can be the only red flag and the last red flag that you see ever. Does that make sense, Leo? Right? So it's just like this, at some point you kind of have to acknowledge your intuition, honey. You have to uh, just kind of like cut it out, even if you can't have physical evidence, because it's not like you have to like prove something in the name of like put something in court for you to be like, I don't want to deal with this anymore and just cutting it out. You don't have to explain yourself, right? At all. Um, so yeah, such a side message that might not even resonate with anybody, but uh, now let's get into your page of earth, Leo. Now the page of earth or the page of pentacles, this is a card talking about good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging in a new area of study, right? So let's backtrack. I know we were with that side message, right? Let's backtrack into what I was saying before about wanting to be a uh, author. I think it was, yeah, an author. Um, but you wanted to do, you were considering factory worker because you know that's like a promising, like stable income, right? Um, but I do get this sense, well, I'll tell you what I feel and then we'll pull some tarot cards. But I feel once you identify and being like, you know, yeah, you can look at that uh, factory job and that's like the cup that feels the most promising. But are you, again, consider what I was saying before about you know, what if, you know, entertaining that what if narrative of something positive if you were to actually make it as an author and make 10 times the amount, right? And if you don't feel confident in you being able to do that, well, one, ask yourself why, right? Because if, if it's about being an author, then it's just about relying and banking on your own talents and uh, accepting that you're capable of it. So why don't you feel like you're capable of accomplishing that, uh, you know? So something to uh, think about with this, right? I do feel like the sense of where, 
I don't know. Normally, I'm not really that pushy when it comes to、uh, telling people to answer their callings because it's just like, what? I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory, but also it's. I mean, everyone has makes their own choices, right? But that does just some is something I just keep on feeling、uh, and feel drawn to saying. But、uh, yeah, now let's just get some clarifiers、uh, with this card,、uh, with your page of pentacles. Your cards are just being crazy, Leo. All right. So the cards that we have for your page of pentacles: three of cups following you again.、Uh, three of cups. Some of you guys are really weighing the decision on like what to do with the person, right? And it doesn't even have to be in like a negative way. It's more so like you're kind of like it's like you threw the ball in someone else's court and you're waiting for them to like what it is that they're going to serve back to you, or you, even if they're going to serve anything at all back to you. It's kind of like at that point,、uh, if I, I feel if you're receiving this reading for like a person where it's like a some type of、uh, connection,、uh, but yeah, you have the three of cups. Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. So, you know, we'll get back to the social part of things in a moment. But I want to like hone in back into the message, Leo, just for overall, just like you know, like that author narrative, right? If you are an author and you leaned into just being the author, Page of Pentacles represents you're doing new things. Spoiler alert, right,、uh, Leo? So I do get the sense that. It's, Spears just telling me like the storyline of like you entertaining like you being the author or you at the very least doing something that you haven't normally done before,、um, and this is where like a lot of happiness just comes. Like all these cards are extremely happy, and it comes in quickly because you have the Knight of Wands, which signifies fast forward movement,、um, extremely passion filled, right? So unless you're feeling extremely passionate in that factory job, honey, you know. You know, it's showing to me. One can presume, Ulio, that you actually entertain being that author, right? Because three of cups, two of cups. This is just overall, just like three of cups is that celebration,、um, being around good people, right? Just an overall victory.、Uh, two of cups. This is a, again a lot more of an intimate victory. Whereas, so I guess, yeah, you get the point. It's like a lot more of an intimate victory for you.、Um, so, just really signifies again, like not only is it like promising of like good like reward, right? But、um, it's fulfilling to you. So it's even more affirming that you're probably not getting that fulfillment from that factory job, and it's probably again because of the intimacy that the two of cups signifies.、Um, it signifies that you. Do that thing, Leo. Right. And continuing into the storyline, first Archangel Michael card coming in here. Right. This is when、uh, the wheels start turning in your favor. Right. When you start leaning into being that author. Right. This is more so again com、uh, com confirming. I keep on saying my words weird whenever I start、um, really talking a lot, Leo. <laughs> Uh, but confirming where it's just like once you identify your path, identify your calling, take a shot every single time I say calling, Leo.、Um, <laughs> that's when a lot of movement happens in a quick pace and very quickly, right? Because you keep on getting. You've had Nine of Wands twice, right? Remembering you had Three of Cups twice as well, also signifying that、uh, victory and just being around again good people. But yeah, you had Nine of Wands twice, which these cards are cards talk representing fast. Forward movement,、uh, Leo.、Um, so that's why I feel extremely confident in saying that it's just like what, whatever. Once you identify where it is your path and like start walking down it,、um, it comes quickly to you.、Uh, partially because of that, but also these other cards as well, right? With the wheel card, I didn't even read it to you, Leo. I apologize. This says a time of positive change, a situation known as change, positive change. Situation suddenly moves forward. Right,、uh, fortune is on your side. So no matter how you put this, Leo, like again, like that's when the wheels start turning. The wheels of fortune starts turning into your favor,、uh, Leo. So, I mean, do we even need to get like much of any clarification for this card? Right, I feel like we kind of don't. Right, I, I'm only going to just emphasize the message for you, Leo, which is really feels strongly. Uh, for some of y'all to work with Archangel Michael, for him to be coming up so strongly,、um, 
And then, yeah, while once those wheels start turning, you start going forward, the chariot card shows up for you as another sign or another affirmation that you were looking for. Uh, Leo, from that we started at the beginning of this reading for, uh, this is what you were looking for. This is the card of where it's like, I always kind of refer to this as like the Uber service from spirit, right? It only shows up and is only sent to you when you're going down your right path because logically, spirit's not going to send you down the wrong path in an uber so you go down that path that wrong path that's not meant for you quicker does that make sense uh this card says an important achievement self-discipline and willpower and public recognition right i mean leo i don't feel like you can really spell out a much better um message than this right i mean with the chariot card um i kind of want to see i do feel inclined to see what kind of like detail that looks like though but yeah like this all happened the chariot is fa is just the natural energy of it is very fast forward movement as well um i forget what zodiac sign that uh the chariot is associated with but i feel like it would be for a fire sign it feels like it would be fiery but yeah um leo all your cards are just talking it all associates with change and like new energy like it's not you're not getting like your seven of pentacles uh see yeah that's something i wanted to point out like the pentacle energy that you got the one pentacle energy that you got so far i guess we'll say was the page of earth right page of pentacles which is pages is new energy right so none of like you don't have any cards that's really signifying uh anything that was you're currently having your hands in leo and so the clarifiers i pulled for your chariot card is the eight of cups leo confirming literally what i was just saying right you're walking away from like you're not doing this like you're not feeding energies you're not trying to fill up these cups anymore to get your 10 cups you're doing something entirely different you're becoming that author um and starting from zero again you're not trying to fill up these cups and get two more you're doing something entirely different because these cups here fine and dandy honey I mean, that provides for somebody but it's not uh sustaining you this doesn't this doesn't fulfill you and that's why you're walking away as the eight of cups right and with this moon card this is a very powerful imagery for this card as well because the moon card in tarot is the card of like going into the unknown right so you don't feel you you don't go in, you're not doing this with confidence right it's only unknown because you haven't traveled here before so really again we are emphasizing in the messages of new things with the emperor card as well like this is you know this is very much so like self-employment energy we are being self-sufficient this is very much so you being your own boss uh, being very proactive and taking charge and being a trailblazer in some way, breaking out of that norm as the emperor with, I mean, with the tower card, right? All these two powerful major arcanas together, right? This confirms to me that you are the one in control of this, Leo. You're the one that set the match or like uh, set the time for this lightning to strike this tower moment um, and to do away with something completely uh leo you are in complete control of this um the ball is definitely in your court on the side on the side of things you just have to be willing to take that shot rather than being intimidated by like the distance between you and the basket right um instead of convincing yourself that if you were to shoot that shot uh you're gonna miss that basket you're gonna miss that shot you you know entertain the narrative that you actually land it right so that is the reading that I have for you for this week, Leo. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Leo, I do the weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, not just to Leo. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not, honey, I would appreciate it if you were to send them my their zodiac sign video uh, that I've done. Maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, Leo, I love you so much. Bye.